Hey Disney fans, welcome to part 2 of my Lion King Let's Play. We're now in Akuta Matata, a level based off Timon and Pumbaa's home, where they introduce Simba to bug eating and avoiding zebra meat and antelope and... Wait, the stampede level. Were they antelope? Shit, I think they were. <laughs> anyway, this level's got one of the most annoying enemies in the game, it's the spiders. Honestly, the best bet is just to avoid them, because they run so fast and they jump around like crazy that you're bound to get hit. They're so small. They're just annoying bastards. Also, you got frogs that spit at you, which are annoying as fuck. And you got a really annoying waterfall section. You gotta climb up it while logs are going down, which is weird in itself. And the only way to progress with the level is if you complete the waterfall. If you go down this section right here and just hold right, you actually effectively skip half of the waterfall and you start at the middle of it, which is a good shortcut and I recommend you take it. There's nothing special on the other side anyway. I don't know if there's a power up. There probably is, but you don't need it. I'm pretty sure you don't need it. <laughs> anyway, this music is actually based off the Hakuna Matata song that Timon and Pumbaa sing to Simba the first time they meet and you'll see what I mean. Hakuna Matata, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata, ain't no passing craze. It means no worries for the rest of your days. It's a problem free philosophy. Hakuna Matata. See? <laughs> Anyway, you got a boss here, you got to fight a gorilla, and he's throwing coconuts at you while eating a banana. What you got to do is you just wait for him to finish his rhythmatic cycle of throwing coconuts at you, and then he'll try and stomp the ground. That's your time to hit him. You're, there's also another method where if you get near to him, he tries to slap you away. You can actually make yourself... Or make Simba, rather, move in a way that will avoid the, his hand, but at the same time hit him. And I was trying to do that at the beginning, but it didn't work, so I decided to, you know, screw it. I'll just do it the old-fashioned way. It's not that hard anyway. There's also, you can, take, you can take a lot of shortcuts with it, because... Like, he gets up and then moves closer to you, like right here, he'll move closer to you. All you gotta do is get jump, and just you can just keep on jumping at him, and that's it. And he just stops the ground and falls in the water. <laughs> anyway, now we're in Timon's bonus stage. Again, you just gotta run around and collect bugs. Timon actually has three special stages. The only difference with them is that their layout is different. Pumba only has one, it's always the same. And yeah. That's all I really have to say about this special stage, you know. Just go around and collect bugs as much as you can and avoid the black spiders so that the stage doesn't end. You know, you get continues and one-ups. I don't think you can get power-ups in this. I, I never have. But if you can, then great. <laughs> I guess. Anyway, now we're in... Whoa! Yeah, Simba just... Grew up. <laughs> so now, it's a whole new game mechanic. Now we can't just defeat things by jumping on it. Now we actually have to fight them. Simba has a whole new move set. He can still jump. He can still roar. His roar is a lot more powerful now. Although you can you can't tell because the stats have been reset. I don't know if that's intentional that the stats are reset. I'm guessing it isn't. But whatever. It it's not a big deal. And my voice just cracked. <laughs> I really like this song. It's really calming. Anyway, you can slash at your enemies. You can slash them once like that. Or you can do like a two-handed slash. Also, you can throw your enemies off screen, which is an instant kill. And this is what I'm trying to do here. You know, when, you're, when your enemies are tired, you can throw them off screen. And this section, you have to kill all the cougars before Rafiki comes and takes away the vines. But if you throw them... Simba lunges forward, and you can clip right through it. This is what I was trying to do to speed things up, and I was doing it in the test recording. I don't know why it wasn't working, but I ended up dying and taking more time than 
usual and because I was trying to take less time and yeah Murphy's law <laughs> that's all I can say that's it there's no new power-ups or anything this is the same thing there's the same bugs and all that the only difference right now is Simba's size is a lot bigger and his move set There's also, there's not, there's no more enemies that are just running around. It's actually things that are like, they have their own move sets, and they, you know, claw at you. They throw things at you like the monkeys, and there was a continue in that bush. That was the first time I've ever noticed that. <laughs> so, fun fact, I guess. Also, the continue option, or the not the continue option rather, but the checkpoint is different. It has a big long mane now and looks like adult Simba with these tiny monkeys if you have enough roar stored up you can actually kill them with your roar and that's what I was trying to do there but of course I failed right see right here I'm trying to practice but I ended up dying I was trying to practice throwing but it, it just wasn't working for me so I ended up dying and there's my first death of the game sad <laughs> Fucking monkeys, man. I hate that your roar goes away when you get hit. Because roar, believe it or not, is actually pretty useful in this game. You wouldn't think so by the, the means of using it, but it is. It's actually a means of killing enemies, stunning them. It works. One thing to do is if you roar at the cougars or hyenas, they'll get stunned and then you can instantly kill them with the throw. Although with my luck, it probably won't happen. <laughs> so I just said fuck it and I just I just decided to avoid things. <laughs> and that's odd. <laughs> yeah. So this level's based off when Simba's on his way back to the kingdom because he's found out what Scar has done from Rafiki, I believe. I think Rafiki has done that. Has, has told him and so yeah he's on his way back to the kingdom and that's all I can say about that <laughs> it's not a really hard puzzle that this level has it's just you gotta hit rocks and they'll come down and that's it <laughs> nothing big I think there's three vine sections in this level. Again, it's it's tedious. All you, can do, all you gotta do is press the, the one slash button and you're good. You just gotta keep mashing it and they'll never come near you to hate you. So that's all you gotta do. So yeah, that's what I recommend. If you, if you could master the throw technique, then great. You're a much better player than, than me. <laughs> you must take your place in the circle of life. All right, Mufasa, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> oh my god, another bonus stage with Timon! <laughs> I have nothing more to say about this special stage. Hopefully I get I get through this fast. It looks like I'm oh, never mind. Nice, sweet. Now we're in be prepared, a volcano level that the best method of doing this I recommend is intentionally get hit by the lava Dax rising okay <laughs> intentionally get hit by the volcano the volcanoes the little volcanoes that the lava rises in and just phase through everything here's a little secret you get a little roar power up and some health that'll help you but honestly do not try and fight the hyenas and the cougars because you'll waste too much health trying to do so plus the bats are annoying as shit so the best bet just run through everything there's enough power-ups along the way to keep you alive, so that's what I recommend, and you know, that's basically my method of doing things. Right here, this is where I got stuck as a kid, and this is where I fucking, I just gave up. I gave up because I didn't know what to do here. I didn't know that you were supposed to hit the stalactites on the top to go down and hit a platform that you continue to stage. Also, if you claw at it while it's falling, you die. <laughs> which I don't understand but yeah you gotta hit it three times and then it falls down so count it 
Because if you claw at it more than three times, you'll end up dying because you'll touch it and it doesn't make sense, but go with it. <laughs> Down here is a little secret. That blue bug right there, that is Timon's special stage. So if you were curious, that's what it looks like. And now we're probably in the most annoying section in the game where you have to platform or you got to stay on this little platform in the lava while bats are coming and trying to hit you and then they hit you you fall back and fall through the lava and that's great and I died and that's awesome <laughs> so yeah this is a really annoying section it took me a few tries to get through this because not only are you trying to stay on the platform but you'll also have to just fall off it like that <laughs> because again the hit detection in this game isn't great and you gotta look at it as his hind legs aren't there and you know it's just odd <laughs> it's just odd see right here you gotta see all I do is just avoid it I'll just avoid the cougar I'll just avoid the hyena although I kind of sped through it and there we go sweet it worked for me that's awesome <laughs> and you gotta jump back on the platform it's just an annoying section I hated it I never even made it here as a kid because I got stuck on this stalactite thing. I got pissed off, just ended it, and just decided not to play the game anymore. <laughs> also, that's another annoying section. You gotta run away from a boulder and you gotta turn in mid jump, but then you 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 clip on, you hold on to the edge, and then I just don't like this level at all. <laughs> I don't like this level at all. It has unnecessary difficulty on it in it. Like, it, it, it's difficulty is the control, and I don't like it for that. And that's probably why I gave up as a kid, because it pissed me off. If you use my strategy, though, and just run through everything, it actually isn't the long level. You just go from one end to the other, and then go down, and then go back. And there's a little endurance round, I, I, I'd say, that uh, you just gotta last a certain period of time and you'll complete the stage and it's right here you jump down and there's four volcanoes there's rocks falling down in between the volcanoes so you have to stand up on them to not get hit at the same time one out of four volcanoes are spewing up lava so that you gotta dodge them and yeah it's a really boring process it lasts much longer than it needs to because it really isn't that hard and, you know, this is probably the weakest point of this game, is the be prepared level. I don't like it at all. I don't like its its gimmick. I don't like that it doesn't specifically say, like, here's a stalactite, knock it down. I don't know if people had that same problem with me, like, that I had, that I couldn't figure out that this I was supposed to hit the stalactites. But, I wish there was some cue or something. <laughs> Also, the being on a little tiny platform around lava, that I hate that too, with the friggin' bats. Just fuck them. <laughs> anyway, platforms go above the volcanoes, you go on the last one, and then it shoots you up to the next level. Isn't that great? <laughs> I don't even remember if Simba was in a volcano in the movie. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, see you in part three.